Hello, a great human being, a humanitarian, a man artist, has made his transition. Um, let's look. Let's uh, just just a few words. I think a few observations. Let me say the first time I ran into, not ran into, did a project that involved Prince. Let's put it. I knew about Prince's music way from the very beginning. Um, uh, but this was like uh, the end of, when did, when did Purple Rain come out? 84? Well, near the end of, I think it was about, uh, uh, well, this was about December of 84. Anyway, before then I was, I was hanging out with some, uh, not hanging out with, but there were some young people. Uh, they were like 15 and 16 years old. And they were sort of like, I don't know, you know, borderline, you know how young people get, you know, borderline maybe get in trouble. And so um, I was at uh, WBAI radio station at the time, um, just there helping out, um, um, doing, just starting, uh, recording a lot and stuff like that. But I knew about a lot about radio, of course, I engineered and all the rest of that stuff uh, because I learned that uh, in college and even before. Anyway, um, I asked them uh, to, to take them off the streets and get them out of jail. So I said, oh, no, uh, what do you, if you could do a radio program, what would you do if we do this special? And they said, we want to do a print special very, very quickly. And I'm going like, ooh, in my head, I'm going like, oh, this is going to be an interesting sell because at the time BAI was dominated. Let's put it this way, they didn't have a lot of youth programming. Let's put it that way. So, um, so I went about uh, setting up a special for them. And uh, I picked a time, to, we always do these fundraising drives. So I asked two producers who had very long shifts. Um, uh, Hapte Selassie, who was on from like 12 to 5 or something like that. And then, um, uh, then uh, Paul Wonder, I think he's on from 5 to 8 or something like that, whatever it was. Anyway, I asked them to take their time slots and so they wouldn't have to do their me membership drive, you know, the, the marathon, we call them. And I wanted to do a print special. They said, sure. <laughs> <laughs> and so I proceeded, this was like uh, six weeks ahead of time, you know, so I proceeded like a month at a time I proceeded, well, having them, getting them to start thinking about what they want to do in the special, what kind of special it was going to be. And in the meantime, as this was happening, we got to do these promo, these promotion cards to promote the programs happening. And this was happening at the end of December, near the end of December, third week in December. So I started at the beginning of the month. And so for three weeks, you saw me transition when I came to the station. Because I was there quite frequently. I, trans I had made this transition to wearing just regular clothes. And then I started slowly but surely putting more purple on, purple on. I had this Prince t-shirt, you know, purple. Uh, I think it was, yeah, because uh, the movie had come out already. It was, was the Purple Rain t-shirt. You went on the, on the bike. Or maybe it just said Prince on it, whatever it said. And so, but this, the station, uh, they were like wondering what was going on. Because, you know, I, they would see me. Uh, periodically getting more and more purple as it was coming close to, to, the, uh, to the special. And then one of the things, uh, as this was happening in the very beginning, I made, uh, I, we made four uh, promotion cards. Uh, one, they made a card together, it was uh, CT3 and Dion, that was their, their names uh, for the special. Um, and then I had Bernard White, a radio voice, he did a card for us, so they were all under 60 seconds. Then I, I did a card. And then I had Lynn Samuels do a card. Lynn Samuels uh, was a very well-known voice. She has, she's like a, a has one of those Brooklyn accents, you know, those Jewish Brooklyn accents kind of thing. And Bernard was, you know, the rich black baritone voice kind of thing. And they were there. Okay. So we made these four cards. They were great cards. It was amazing. It got a lot of response. You know, people were just wondering what was going to happen. They were just on the edge of what was going to happen. Anyway, so we, we pulled that off. It was a great special. But it also, um, how do you say, it, uh, it brought to, it brought to fruition, brought to light this whole um, phenomena of just, of uh, we used to do these print specials that were very long, and they would take place. Um, well, it came out to like twice a year now, um, one around his birthday time, you know, June seventh, and then another one around about you know when it was like May, sometimes somewhere early like uh, December, whenever it was. So, uh, so anyway, uh, this for years and years we had this, uh, this group started to grow. These they, they were dedicated to Prince music, and they did or uh, they did all of the uh, what they call the bootleg albums and all the rest of that stuff. Um, but what was really interesting is that the group finally um, got a name. I named them because uh, I couldn't hear exactly what the what the name of the song was. A lot of bootleg records, and we we called the group uh, the Boys and Girls of the New Boogie Groove. 
and that carried on for years and years and years. I, I sort of distanced, distanced myself from them after a while because they could handle it themselves. They did their own specials, you know. Uh, Jay Smooth came aboard as most the main engineer. They just not a lot of stuff. So it was a great thing. Let me just say two more things uh, about uh, Prince Rogers Nelson. Um, one thing, one, one thing didn't really involve me exactly, but we, um, we, we, we had these promotion carts that were in the main control room, and um, one, one, um, one time I had uh, this, this uh, sister named Carletta Joy Walker, for some reason they let her, she was doing a, a, a morning show, uh, just a once in a while, she was doing a morning show. And uh, she, we had these cards on, and I, and I had put them in some of them in this in this in the main control room, um, just just to have cards just in case something happens. What you could do, you just take a card and just put it on real quick, so you wouldn't lose any air time. You know, wouldn't be any dead air. So anyway, so uh, I ended up uh, listening one morning to the morning show, and you know, to the morning music uh, offerings. And uh, Carletta Joy Walker was running the board. She was uh, selecting the music, and she had played the card. The cart that uh, with Prince doing a, 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 a instrumental that comes from the Purple Rain era or the Purple Rain uh, album called God, you know. And so the song played, and at the end of it, uh, Carletta said that was God. It just kept on going. You know, usually you would say that was Prince doing God, but it and just kept on. So it was quite entertaining. It was quite a, that was God. It was and it was sort of, sort of is true uh, as far as music goes. But my uh, real, uh, my connection with Prince or whatever we was doing, or let me put it this way, people always ask me, because I have such a long association with the, with, with the bootlegs and with just any Prince music, whatever, they ask me, what's your favorite Prince cut? And uh, my favorite Prince song of all time is a thing that is hard to find, and it was written for uh, a Latina sister, uh, and uh, I think it was finally released on an album, but I first heard it off a of bootleg, and then I think it was released, I don't know what album it was released on, a, what it is, but it's, the song is called uh, uh, Love Thy Will Be Done. Love Thy Will Be Done is the name of the song. And it's a great song. To me, it embodies all of Prince. The arrangement is magnificent, his voice changes magnificent, the words are incredible, just everything. The, the funk beat is amazing. So that's it. Love that will be done. Prince Rogers Nelson, glad to have been with you or around the same time you have been around on this planet and to uh, feel your music when it first hit and to know all of the good humanitarian things you do. That's it for me, T, from the Patterson's taking a trench to bed, letting you know what I only suspect.